my guy today i'm gonna show you how you can rig the spring with dynamic constraints so let's get started first make a helix like this and press x to snap on grid and increase the size and make a helix like this now in inputs of helix that's coil as you want like 8 and height I want to do this 20 and width little bit down and radius adjust whatever you want now take it little bit up like this and then copy the height value pressing by control C then go to attribute editor and nothing selected can press control G and you can see then null hold creating created then again control G and make it 7 null groups and rename it and rename it string Skeleton and create zone. 
first we hide this to see something better and press X to quick snap and create a joint and hit enter now again go to skeleton create IK handle select this upper part and then lower part and create a like this line handle now we create a major tool and spin tool now select this press down F to create snap Let's create a locator like this then select the IK handle and locator 2 and parent it and select join and locator 1 and parent it then select this locator 2 and you can see I can move this like this now control right. now then we go to in window no repeater you can see the no repeater open in this object you can select you can select the lower joint and height distance measure tool and click this icon like this select this this and read after this now create a new node called multi like the multi here is the node multi divide and take it here expand it expand it also and do like this and in input 1x now take the join to ok expand it and translate open trans expand translate and output output x to translate y like this and close this and when i select locator 2 and you can see this mode Now can hide the string. Now it's the main part of parenting. Now select this and the joint. Not a IK handle. Only joint and string group and go to constraint and open constant menu and parent constant add it it's a parent constant, constant. then select this system group and plx and constraint it a point constraint and apply a point constraint then expand it and expand it then select string part 1 system end 1 and make group and also then point constraint now then select this joint and this string start group and then point constraint constraint x is y and apply and then uh, taking time select the bottom joint and string end group and also Y constraint and apply then select this string start one and height and reset settings and maintain offset and apply that's it now go to editor in general editor like this connection editor 
put out mana and select height and reload and the helix and click on input and reload right and select the height and reload left and find translation it's a translate select translate y choose its height then close it and then select the locator and you can see the screen rig dynamically this is a trick of rig the screen dynamically dynamically now you can also connect other parts to this screen and also move this part so let's create a cylinder like this a cylinder select the faces select the faces like this hold down tab to select faces like this and two tabs Again, you can do the command and out it little bit. You can go to object mode. You and me to snap, snap it here. Thanks for watching guys, hit like and subscribe, okay bye.